Foreign investors were net sellers for nine consecutive months starting October 2021. However, as of August 2022, foreign portfolio investors have bought Indian stocks worth $4.6 billion, which is the highest quantum of buying since December 2020. But a question that often pops up in investors' and founders' heads is if they should list or invest in the US via instruments like SPACs or otherwise. So let's dive a little deeper into the state of the SPACs. The market for US special purpose acquisition companies, known as SPACs, has fallen from its dizzying 2021 heights. According to S&P Global Market Intelligence data, there were 78 SPAC IPOs in the first three quarters of 2022, compared to 444 in the same period a year ago. SPACs are also known as blank check companies, which are essentially shell companies that go public with the goal of raising money to buy a private company over a certain period of time. Another notable feature is that if they fail to find a suitable target company or if the investors aren't convinced with the choice of investments, then the invested money gets redeemed. Additionally, they also offer an attractive internal rate of return at about 7-8%. to a few global companies like Nicola Corporation and Virgin Galactic Holding had gone public through a SPAC only to fail dramatically. Virgin Galactic Holding had debuted at $11.75 and went as high as $55 in June of last year but is now down to as low as $5. And Nicola is down to $2 from USD 66 as of last June. So as we can tell, most packs are trading much below their issue price. And another decline can also be observed in the redemption rate, where there were only 10% of SPACs being redeemed in the first quarter of 2021. This year has seen 90% of SPACs being redeemed. So of course, the dramatic decline coincided with a broader IPO slowdown. But some issues that are particularly attributed to the failure of SPACs are 1. How directors are held liable for their unrealistic projections. 2. The rising in interest rates that has made investors lose their risk appetite and have also made risk-free debt instruments more attractive. And thirdly, regulators have set their sights on the SPAC market. So the SEC has in fact made a recent move to change the accounting guidance that proposes making SPAC warrants as liabilities instead of equity instruments. And only to complicate this further, this has further slowed down the process of execution as 90% of SPACs are audited by just two accounting firms. Even non-SPAC listings such as Freshworks is a classic case of offshore listing going wrong. Freshworks is down from its issue price of $43 to USD 12, losing about 75% of its market cap. In fact, it's now facing a lawsuit for misleading investors. So projections going wrong could be tolerated in India, but are treated with heightened seriousness in the US. And back to SPACs, as per Rehan Yar Khan, a SPAC expert, there's enough capital in India and one doesn't need to list abroad. In fact, Indian markets have actually outperformed when compared to global markets. To its credit, several companies like PhonePay, which are of Indian origin, are now doing reverse flips, which means that they're re-domiciling themselves to India. So it's time for us to rethink if you want to list or invest in India or abroad. Thank you.